the grove to get a little tipsy. Find me a bitty for licky. I just got in a whole brand new bag. I'm running around like I missed it. Elliot, jewelry moving like juice. He's talking all goes in and hit me. Look, I just leveled up, I thank God. Scrape from the mud, now it's time to get the pie. Swipe his and blood, you can see it in my eyes. My future turning up, what it's time to be alive. I'm that nigga, I don't mean to brag. But I'm getting too nice with this. Ain't no way that I'm going outside. My pockets been heavy as shit. The bank is full of the blues. Bitch, I'm happy how that contradict. Yes, it's the same way I had to go harder when I found myself down on my dick. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Game Day with Trey. This your host, Trey. That's my co-host and homeboy, Face. What up, world? And this is uh, Hot Take or No Wait. Is the Pac-12 real, man? Like, because right now you got eight teams in the Pac-12 rank. All right? And, yes, the SEC has been losing some games, like, you know, what Florida State did to LSU and – what Texas just did to Alabama, so those that's gonna that, that, that's gonna affect the overall rankings of everybody else, you know. And what Miami just did to Texas A and M Aggies, you know. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, Pac twelve got eight teams ranked right now. You start off with number five USC, number eight Washington, number twelve Utah, number thirteen Oregon, number seventeen Oregon State, number twenty three Washington State. Number 24, UCLA, and of course, you know, my man Prime, number deuce one, baby. So, is this a hot take or no wait that the Pac-12 is, is here right now, even though this is the last year right now? I, it's a lot of talent in them teams. Oregon, uh, UC, USC, but to me, the most dangerous is Colorado because when you have – listen, let me show you and something. So do you think prom you bringing have, the prom then? He's making them prom and, time. And, and, and I'm going to say why I say that. Because at that collegiate level, when you got an elite quarterback playing at the level that Sanders is playing – Shadur. Shadur, I'm saying Sanders. Yeah. Quarterback, I say elite quarterback. Play oh well. no, they don't call him. They don't call him Sanders no more. They just call him Shador. Yeah. He, you know what Shador. I'm saying? Like, yeah. okay, like he, did, he did not. He did. He outgrown the last name because he is his own man at this point. That's what Shador has been done for himself. And at the end of the day, he he, he deserves it. Yeah, he's been playing. He's been playing out his mind. His decision making is impeccable. It's like. I, I ain't really seen too many flaws. Like he don't force the ball. He puts it where only his receivers could get it. His ball placement is immaculate. I'm saying immaculate. when he yes. when he when he throw it, it's there. You feel what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. when you got a quarterback playing at that level, you got a running back with that much speed, they gonna they're gonna shock a lot of people. Only thing is with a defense hold up. In a game where, because it, it, it's like they kind of thin on a D line and certain areas where it'll cause trouble. But as long as you got your offense playing as good as they offense playing, it covers up for the defense because the defense correct. You ain't okay, so play these guys. Face, since we know, okay, we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna settle it like this. On a hot take or no wait, when you're talking about the Pac-12 being real, the Pac-12's got to be real. Because you look at the talent that's there and look at what Prime has done. Prime has took in the Pac-12 and took them prime time. All right? He has taken the Pac-12, and even though this is the very last year, you will always remember this year because of what Prime has done what Caleb Williams is doing in the USC, the fact that Bo Nix is balling out in Oregon, the fact that DJ Ogalunwawe is up there at Oregon State and he didn't re- revitalize his career. Let's not even forget about Michael Penix up there at Washington. Like When you look at the draft next year, what's coming out in the draft, at least three of the top five quarterbacks are there in the Pac-12. We forget about Cam Rising at Utah. All right, we're not even mentioning him right now. There's a lot of, of great things going out for a conference 
that's going out. And so I want to say salute to everybody out the West Coast. Yes, Pac-12 is real right now. Respect all y'all. But what we're going to get to now is the real conversation. Because if you talk about the Pac-12 being real, then this game has to happen exactly the way we're about to say it. So hot take or no wait, is Prom going to be undefeated when he makes it to USC? Because, see, this week, you see, Prom just went up against TCU in week one, and, you know, he went down there, Fort Worth, and, and, and made it do what it do already. You feel me? Shout out to Texas. And from there, he did. He just backed that up with coming back home, going against Nebraska, a rival from back when they were the the, the Big Eight. If, if anybody remembers the Big Eight, okay, I remember the Big Eight. I'm not old, you feel me? But it, they were rivaled in, okay? That was before it was the Big 12. So Nebraska, Colorado was a major thing. And for that game to get played out like he just played that game out, for him to really – and he get his team to buy in and take it personal and understand that this is a real deal rivalry, especially when you didn't use the – utilize the, the transfer portal in the manner of which he did where he flipped the whole team, about 75 to 80 percent of the team he flipped. So this is all new. The whole staff, new. Everybody working together, new. Prime and made the Pac-12 prime time. And the question is, is he going to be able to make it past Colorado State this weekend and then go to Oregon, go to Outson, Outson Stadium, up in Oregon where it's foggy and it's crazy and they wild and take that W so that he can go play USC at home And follow that Buffalo out with a W, man. Like this is this is when legends are made, and this is what legends are made of. Facebook, what say you, homie? Like, is this a hot take or no? Wait, can this really happen? Is the world really building up to the for the Rumble in Colorado, Boulder? I don't, I, I don't see why they wouldn't be undefeated. Colorado State, pretty much. I ain't gonna say a cakewalk, but a cakewalk. You yeah. get what I'm saying? And Oregon is a very beatable team because you got an offense that is scoring and moving just as well as them. Oregon defense ain't the greatest defense in college football. They nah. probably ain't even in the top ten. So you you go pretty you go you go you go very much win the game. I and, I'm, and, up, and I don't think Bo Nix is Bo Nix. I don't think Bo Nix is better than Shadur. I'm just saying. I don't think Bo Nix better than Shadur. Bo Nix was a bum when he was at Auburn. I'm gonna say it like it is. He was a bum at Auburn. Numbers, numbers don't, don't lie, lie, though. Listen, and this, this, I just feel like you got two dudes on the same team. The really saying one of us gonna win the Heisman. They already. I'm pretty sure. They are talking amongst that. themselves that like that. Yeah. yeah. If, if, if you don't win, I'm gonna win it. Mm -hmm. As long as you got dudes on your team with them type of aspirations, it's sky's the limit. Why not set it up for Caleb Williams and Shador Heisman? You know they're gonna be talking Heisman about Heisman battle. Heisman Heisman battle. Has been, has been battle. battle. If, if, if he has another game with 300, 400 yard passing. And, and, and no picks and how you can, how, how how not you gonna, how how can't you put him in the Heisman talk this early because he's done done it three four five six games five probably four five games by the end so I would be thinking that they would be talking about Heisman uh, 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 runners like you feel what I'm saying mm -hmm. that'd be the type of discussion that we should have for this game and you know who better than to do that than prime time. Explain this to the son. This is what y'all say y'all self up for. You win this game, Colorado State. Don't overlook them, but you know that this is a team that you you could beat. 
organ. This is a test. This is a measuring stick. This how you. This how you get ranked. You got to beat these type of opponents. I feel like they understand that Dion know what it takes to win championships and to beat teams that you have to beat in order to be who you want to be. You feel what I'm saying? So if you beat Oregon, guess what? The Pac-12 get real small. Now you got a one or two. You got <laughs> one more. For real, you got one more. And if you're not USC off, yep. you got the cream in the crop. You're going to be ranked. You're going to be Although, fair Look, if they're not USC off, then – it's a dog. They're gonna march all the way to Utah at the final game of the year because the like yeah they still gotta go to they still gotta beat Oregon State but they play Oregon State at at uh Boulder and then when they play UCLA they gotta go to UCLA and UCLA is kind of dangerous right now they got a young quarterback that they've been balling out with I've been talking to my dad uh, about a lot uh, as of late but uh yeah man. It's all, it's completely doable right now if if he is able to take it one step at a time because this is the trap game this week. Colorado State's the trap game. And then after Colorado State, you get past Colorado State, then you still got to go to Oregon and beat Oregon in Outson Stadium, which is a feat that a lot of people can't do. I listened to this morning to Richard Sherman talk about going to Outson Stadium, and he said, look, when I went there – we were the number three team in the nation when I went there, and when and Oregon was number two, and he said this was the most raucous crowd, most raucous environment college wise that he had ever been involved in or been at. He said at halftime they were up by like eighteen points or something like that. Stanford was up. He said at the end of the game, they lost by 21. Now, you, when you're dealing with somebody of the talent level that we know Richard Sherman is, and we understand what was at, well, because what they had, like Joey Harrington or something like that back then? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> balls, over, balls over bad, man. Yeah. They had so much speed. Yeah, so much speed right there. Like, so Mike James and all them boys. all that. Yeah, I think there's Legarrette time. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Legarrette was up there in Alton. He still ain't hey, punched man, nobody Mike in James. the face. Yep. You know. Hey, but guess what? Guess what? That's a prime time game, and who better to get his team ready for a game like that than prime itself? Get ready. You got to think about the the, the 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 stock of these dudes. They love the moments, man. That that the dude, the, the receiver who played cornerback and receiver. They they play these big. They play for these big moments, man. Mm-hmm. This, this the stage that they set, and this is what they want. So big I feel fact. like they got advantage. They got advantage over a lot because when you are confident in your ability, you want the world to see it. And that's where they at right now. They want to show the world what they already know. The way that man playing that quarterback position, that ain't nothing that's the 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 surprising to him. He just never had a chance to put it on display. And I feel like they ready for them type of moments. Him yes. and his and his partner. You know what I mean? So I feel like this 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 is a good this is a good setup for him, man. I feel like this is a beautiful setup for him, man. And I, I feel like USC is primed to be able to be undefeated when they get to that point, too. Because when you look at what USC had, had going on and what their schedule looks like, man, you are talking about a team that they got. They just beat Stanford. They beat Nevada. They beat San Jose, San Jose State. I don't see Arizona State beating them, Okay. Arizona State is the only game they got in between now and when they play Colorado. So, yes, Prime has took the Pac-12 prime time. That ain't no hot take, man. That's facts. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the episode, man. Hot take. No wait. 
let us know, man. Hit us up in the comments. Like, subscribe. Mm. We're going to holler at y'all. Peace. Peace.